spanning almost a thousand kilometers from the grassy savanna of northeastern Botswana to the semi-arid desert of central Namibia lies the Kalahari Copper Belt, one of the world's emerging copper provinces. Much like the giant deposits found in the nearby Central African Copper Belt, the rich copper mineralization of the Kalahari is hosted within an extensive sedimentary basin. Between the regional centers of Mount and Hansi stretches the sealed A3 highway, linking some of the most significant new copper developments in the world. Just 80 kilometers southwest of Mount, Komakau Copper Mining's Zone 5 underground mine was commissioned in mid-2021 and is forecast to produce more than 60,000 tons of copper per year. 80 kilometers northeast of the town of Hansi, Sandfire Resources' exciting new Matteo Copper project is taking shape. Sandfire's ground holding extends over most of the central and western portions of the Kalahari Copper Belt. In December 2020, Sandfire announced a final investment decision for the Matteo Copper project with an initial investment of 259 million US dollars. Preliminary site works for the Matteo project started earlier this year with full-scale construction commencing in July, following the award of the mining license by the government of Botswana. The cornerstone of the Matteo Copper project is the T3 deposit. T3 is an extensive sedimentary hosted copper silver deposit. Mineralization extends over a two kilometer strike length and approximately 700 meters down dip where it remains open at depth. The deposit consists of numerous sub-parallel zones of mineralization which strike and dip parallel to a northwest dipping thrust zone. Calculated as part of the December 2020 feasibility study, T3 has an indicated and inferred mineral resource of 480,000 tonnes of contained copper and 21.8 million ounces of contained silver and an open pit ore reserve of 360,000 tonnes of contained copper and 15.6 million ounces of silver. The T3 deposit will be mined using conventional truck and shovel open cut mining methods. The pit will be developed in four stages with a total of 40 million tonnes of ore mined at a strip ratio of 6 to 1. Sandfire has appointed the open pit mining contract for the T3 pit to African Mining Services, a subsidiary of Parenti Global Limited. The contract, with an estimated value of 496 million US dollars, is the largest single contract for the project and will be implemented via a joint venture with a local Botswanan partner. In addition to the open pit mining operation, the Matteo T3 project will include a 3.2 million tonne per annum ore processing plant that is readily scalable to 5.2 million tonnes per annum, a world-class double-lined tailing storage facility, mine infrastructure, access roads and a dedicated 750-bed accommodation village and a power transmission system linked to the Botswana power grid. The 3.2 million tonne per annum process plant is based on a simple and robust metallurgical flow sheet comprising standard components for primary crushing, grinding and classification, flotation, thickening and filtration, storage and loadout. Based on current ore reserves, the Matteo DFS has outlined an initial 12.5 year operation with annual production of approximately 30,000 tonnes of contained copper and 1.2 million ounces of contained silver over the first 10 years of operation. Robust operating margins are driven by forecast all-in sustaining costs of just $1.76 US per pound. Concentrates will be trucked 1,000 kilometers along the A3 highway to the modern port of Walvis Bay in Namibia for export to global markets. Reflecting its confidence in the long-term future of the Matteo project, Sandfire has approved an additional upfront investment of 20 million US dollars for additional processing capacity, providing a clear pathway to a 5.2 million ton per annum production rate. The most advanced opportunity for the expanded operation is the A4 deposit, located 8 kilometers west of T3. This exciting recent discovery 
has delivered some of the highest grade drill results ever seen in the Kalahari Copper Belt. Sandfire has recently announced an updated indicated and inferred mineral resource for A4 of 134,000 tonnes of contained copper at a grade of 1.4% copper. A feasibility study is well underway on the development of A4 as additional ore fee to an expanded 5.2 million tonne per annum Matheo production hub. Sandfire expects to make a decision on the A4 development and plant expansion prior to the commissioning of the Matheo process plant. Development of the Matheo project is now underway, with mining scheduled to commence in early 2022 and first production targeted for the first half of 2023. The T3 development is expected to deliver a major boost to the regional economy, generating approximately 1,000 jobs during the construction phase and around 600 direct full-time jobs during operations. At least 95% of the total mine workforce will be Botswanan citizens. An estimated 1,500 indirect jobs supplying provisions, parts, services and support are also expected to be created. The Matheo Copper Project is expected to be the catalyst that unlocks the potential of Sandfire's vast tenement holdings within the Kalahari Copper Belt. The structures which host strata-bound copper mineralization at the new Comacal Copper Operation are interpreted to continue for more than 150 kilometers onto the Sandfire licenses. Sandfire has identified numerous priority targets for drilling, including the A1, T2E, A27, A13 prospects and the deeper NPF contact. Many of these targets have been identified using state-of-the-art electromagnetic or EM surveys, which have proven to be an effective exploration targeting tool. Botswana is a safe, democratic, politically stable and mining-friendly jurisdiction with a supportive government. Ranked first in Africa and the 11th most attractive country globally for mining investment by the Fraser Institute Annual Survey of Mining Companies. It also holds Africa's strongest credit rating of triple B plus from S&P. The development of its Matheo Copper project will support Sandfire's ongoing vision to build an international, diversified and sustainable mining company. Sandfire's operations in Botswana will launch a new era of growth with progressive, dynamic and socially responsible management serving both investors and communities. Sandfire is looking forward to playing a significant role in the development of the mining industry in the wider Kalahari Copper Belt and supplying highly prized minerals essential to the decarbonisation of the global economy. Sandfire creating value through opportunity.